Hi folks and welcome to another video Today I am in Strathconnan Drove all the way down to the Dead End Glen Left my car as far as you could take it I'm now on the private track heading into sort of remote country to bag two Corbett's and hopefully get a summit camp As you can see it's a blue sky day There is however a little tiny sting in the tail The winds, the gusts tonight are meant to be reaching and breaching 30 miles per hour so I'm hoping I can find some shelter later on this evening but we'll, uh, we'll find out later on today anyway so what I'm going to do is I'm going to push on get down this glen and I'll bring you back later on Well, I've just cleared the estate buildings 15-20 minutes ago and already I've got this nice uh, remote feeling that I'm heading into the middle of nowhere So this Munro here, through the gap that is Miao Lundy, I think it's pronounced Myself, Ian and Hendo we camped here, must have been well over 10 years ago now I think it was about March, but it was really cold in fact, I think it's one of my coldest wild camps yet Pre-YouTube days, but well, it was a cracker Hendo had his hubba bubba MSR And me and Ian were Team Acto These hills here That's Fisherfield So you've got a vagin and over here you've got a sleuch. Not bad at all. Meanwhile, I'm heading up here. Right, I've literally just left the stalker's path, which is a shame because it's really good. But it's now time to trudge uphill through these peat hags and get up to the summit. Oh, I'm going to fess up, folks. I'm struggling a bit. It's because I've not had enough to eat. This morning at 6 o'clock I had a bowl of cereal, a banana and a cup of tea Then mid-morning I met Murchie's Mountains at uh, Dalwini And I had an egg roll and another cup of tea And then I reached here, it was at the back of 1, 2 o'clock And I've been killing all my snacks, just raiding them I've just not had enough to eat and I'm struggling So that's kind of the first mistake I've made today And uh, the second I wasn't paying attention and I just kept going on that stalker's track so the hill I'm doing now was tomorrow's objective and now the far away remote one that I wanted to camp on if I want to do it tomorrow it's going to be a nightmare well, it's not going to be a nightmare but it's just going to be harder work it is only 4 o'clock so I've got over 4 hours daylight so I could start heading that way but just because I'm depleting my supplies of food I'm thinking I'm better just pitching somewhere up here and calling it a day That is the summit, I've just been there Fantastic Now I've got the shakes with hunger And it's like 20 past 4, it's too early for dinner Oh. I've not got my bed or anything out at the moment I'm not convinced I'm going to pitch here because it is just a little bit exposed as you can probably hear So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my starter mug shots, cheesy pasta, mac cheese I'm going to have that replenish myself see how I feel 
and I might have a little nosy around the uh, just around the top here somewhere. Just see, maybe I can drop down a bit further. Still have a nice view, but just out this wind. I mean, I'm not going anywhere. It's just, it's just not going to be a very pleasant night. I'll not get much sleep. Hurrah, hurrah! We are boiling. Happy days. Get some scran. This is my wee mac cheese, 200 odd calories, so will just keep me ticking over so I can wait and have my dinner later on tonight. That's me fed and watered, I do feel a little bit better now. What I'm doing is I'm just having a look to see if there's somewhere just a little bit more sheltered. Uh, just for a better sleep tonight really. <laughs> Crampons! Spot the tent. It's just gone nine o'clock and the sun is set and the temperature is five degrees. I don't know if you can see that. So it's gonna be another cold one. But yeah, um I'm going to go for a snooze, I think I'm feeling a bit tired. I've had my dinner already, I'm fed and watered properly. Feeling a bit better that way, but I, I'm just going to uh, get a little bit of shut eye and see what it's like in maybe about 10 o'clock when it's fully dark, see if the aurora makes a show or not. Good morning campers, it's pretty much half five, had a good sleep actually, the wind wasn't that bad, it's dropped a little bit now and uh, it's looking rather nice, we've got a bit of a, a cloud inversion coming in from the east, the sun is going to rise pretty soon as well, I'll just take you over and show you the current scenes. So the plan today, probably mentioned yesterday, is to get that far away remote core bit, the one I wanted to camp on last night. Need to get that done, because I'm not coming back. It's a long drive, and uh, it'd be good to get it ticked and out of the way. So, it also would be my 180th core bit. So I'd like to go 180 when I'm at the summit. <laughs> Only people from the 80s will get that one. But yeah, this is stunning. Anyways, I'm going to uh, get some breakfast on the go, I think. It's just literally gone seven o'clock. That's me on the move. And I'm feeling a bit more optimistic today. I've got enough food, so uh, I shouldn't be worrying about that. Just a bit annoyed about myself for missing that path yesterday. And obviously I've had to sort of readjust my route. But uh, yeah, I'm on my way now. Doesn't look as bad as it did yesterday. Probably because I wasn't in the right frame of mind. But uh, this is looking nice. Got a cloud inversion in front of me and uh, that should burn off later on today. Right folks, wish me luck, that's me going into the cloud. That is me out of the clouds, I'm just heading up this steep hillside behind me. It flattens out in the next 50 metres or so 
and then I should start making good progress once it gets a bit flatter. Ah, you can probably hear I'm out of breath. <laughs> Jeez. That's me been going for just over an hour now and I've reached this minor top which is part of the Corbett I am trying to reach at the moment and it still looks a way off. The good news is though, I don't drop below 700 metres so it should be a fairly nice easy walk albeit still got a bit, a bit to go. But yeah, the weather is actually unbelievable. This is my route along here then up to the summit. I've not looked to the map, but I guess to me I've got about four kilometres to go. Oh, happy days folks, I'm here, this is the summit of An Shihan, which translates to the fairy hill and I tell you what, it is pretty remote out here, wow. Whew. As predicted that took 2 hours and 15 minutes from summit to summit. So in hindsight, if I'd actually um, furnished myself with enough food yesterday, I could have easily made it over here and camped. But uh, it's not took nearly as long as I thought it would, so I'm, I'm not bored, I've got the whole of today. Uh, it's just a long drive back home to Edinburgh, which is a bit of a pain. So it's nice to just enjoy it before the long drive home, I suppose. Right, I've just checked the map and Stalker's path is down here. So I took a bearing on Viewranger and it takes me past. This is a ring contour on the map and then that is an outcrop. So my bearing recommends I head just to the right of this little outcrop here. Boom, I should pick up the top of the path. That took no time at all, 10, 15 minutes. There's a cairn that marks the top of the path and I'm just going to make my way down now. Well that stalker's path was a bit indistinctive in places, it disappeared a lot of the time so I ended up just sort of freestyling down in the general direction, it was nothing too steep. But I'm now on the path that I wanted to be on last night that I missed, so I've got a long walk out, I'm just going to get my head down and I hope you don't mind but I'm just going to wrap the video up here. So if you watched this far thank you very much and I shall catch you in the next one. Cheers.